Hello everyone, in this episode, there isn't much significant development. It's just that, at the end of this episode, Soran stole the proposal that the Jung had prepared to meet the client. She did this so she could go back to work and of course to make the Jung unhappy. Before the Jung met the client, from aboard, one of her team members gave her a drink. Her team member looked hesitant and afraid when giving the drink to the Jung because apparently she was ordered by Soran to do so. The Jung drank the drink and ended up passing out before she could meet the client. When Jagook was confused because Da Jung fainted, that's when Sel ran over to meet the client. Of course, the client liked the proposal because it was a proposal made by the Jung. Soran just stole it and presented it. The person who found the Jung unconscious was Johan, and they came back together again. They protected each other again. I hope this is the last time. They waver and act wishy washy. If they really want to fight Jago together, hopefully they will fight together until the end without any drama of sparing and hurting each other again. Here, Da Jung says she doesn't want Johan to be in danger because of her, and Johan promised not to make Da Jung cry. Then, at the end of this preview, Da Jung already guesses that what happened to her was caused by Saran. She hopes to uncover what Saran did. And we'll make sure Saran will never be able to work at Dreamfoot again. Okay, everyone, that's the preview. This time, thank you for watching my video.